Hello and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we're going to be making a basic butterfly. And I'm going to tell you right up front, the dimensions are really, really not that important. The idea, sure, but the dimensions, no. I'm going to be showing you some shortcuts and some tools that are going to make your life easier as you use them. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with the half sphere. Okay, I'm just going to drag it there. And let's just say, let's go to 62, 64. Yeah, that's great. And I think we'll just keep it at 20 for now. Okay, let me look around. Yep, looks just like a butterfly. If I had no idea what one looked like. So I'm going to drag the head there. Wow, but I don't know if it's centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, hold the shift button down, and then hold, then click on the body. And I like to use a shortcut of the letter L, or you can click up here for the align tool. Again, letter L for me, there it is. This right here will align everything down the center going that way. Perfect. So, good, we got that part done. The This one stayed at 20, 20 didn't change anything. This one, I don't remember, 20, 64, great. Next, we're gonna use a cylinder. This cylinder, I'm gonna make it one millimeter. If you want to make it thicker, that's fine. I'm just using this. And I'm going to just drag this over here. If you really care about my numbers, uh, looks like that's what it is, 43 and 56. I'm also going to rotate this 22.5. By the way, if you keep the mouse, my you see the giant red mouse I have? If you keep it inside that blue circle, it goes in increments of 22.5. If you go outside, it goes, see, um, outside that blue circle, it goes in increments of one at a time, one degree at a time. So back over here, 22.5, great. Just gonna drag it over here. I'm gonna change the color to purplish. I don't know, okay, guys, I'm going to just change this to black because I keep picturing the butterfly as black right there. I think that looks much better. <clears throat> now I'm going to duplicate this, control D, or you can press that button up here, duplicate. And here's one of the things that are important. One of the things that is important that I'm going to show you is the letter M. Mind you, I already duplicated this. I'm going to press the letter M, which is the same as pressing this one. And this is going to mirror it. So when I click it, it's going to change it to face the other direction. You see how it just changed over here? I'm going to use the arrow key on my key keyboard. See? The arrow key and I'm gonna drag it over here I want this to be a little bit bigger so I'm gonna hold down the shift key and then drag this over here yeah that's kind of pretty again I'm gonna use the arrow key again this part right here not as important okay so I'm gonna look over here there's a little space there do I care not really if you care go ahead and fill it in okay so I'm gonna group these two so before I clicked, I held the shift button down and then clicked this one. That's that's one way to select things. Or you can click and drag. And then I'm going to choose Control G, whereas you can use either one of these two. This right here is going to be faster because we're not making any holes or anything. So we'll just keep this for right now. We bundled it. Okay. Now. I'm going to change the angle to, let's see, 22.5, I believe it was. Yeah. Now, if you look underneath, not cool, right? This thing would not print correctly. So here's another one of those useful tips. I'm selecting this thing again. I'm going to click on the letter D. What happens? Check this out. I'm going to click on the letter D. Automatically, the tip of this one will touch the work plane. That's the blue area. So let's look over here. Ooh, not good, right? So I'm just gonna move it over with the, with the arrow keys on the keyboard. And then I'm gonna go to the right with the keyboard. And I do that because it's more precise. When I tend to use the mouse, it doesn't move the way I want it to. So I'm gonna hit Control Z to go back. And I wanna go right again. I just want there to be a strong connection there. Okay, I'm gonna go 
back this way to the left. Okay, now this side is done. In order to make my life easier, which I love to do, I am going to duplicate this work easily. And I've selected this. I'm going to duplicate Control D or that button right there. Now I'm going to click the letter M for mirror, which is also that button right there. And I want it to go in this direction. Check it out. This is what it's going to look like if I press that. If I press that, it really doesn't change anything. This is the one I want. And I want it to go in that direction. So there it is. I'm going to hold down the shift and the arrow key because it moves it faster. And well, too much, right? So I'm going to use just the left arrow key to move it back. Okay, not. I think that's that's good. But you know what we're missing? We are missing the antenna. And how is the how is the butterfly going to find its home if it doesn't get good reception? So let's in my previous video, I would use the sketch tool. If you've never used it, you just click and then you just draw antenna. Yay, antenna. That's it, right? Although if you look over here, it looks kind of weird. Let me undo that. I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go from the head and out. And that's not bad, except that it's going through its skull. We can fix that afterwards. However, well, let's let's just you know try our best here. Let's make that one again. There. That is one tool you can use. Here, by the way, before we do anything, I want to see how long this thing is. I'm not sure if you if you guys know this, but these little squares on here on the work plane, those are measurements. So this is 10 millimeters, 20 millimeters, almost 30 millimeters. OK, good to know. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use another tool. This one is amazing. It's the sketch tool. So to, let's check it out. I'm going to click on it and then click. Now it's going to take us to a brand new world. By the way, we can see what we're doing here. All right, so I'm just going to grab some dots and create a curve. So let's just start with this one. OK, start there, there. And I'm just going to make an outline of the antenna. And let's make it a little bit narrower right there. And then we're going to close it off. Great. Isn't that beautiful? No, it's not. Don't lie to me. It's just okay. So if I click on it, any one of these dots, I get some options. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all of them by hitting Control A. All of them are now selected. And I want them to curve. Now, I have some options. I want them to curve uh, slightly more than that. So let's click on that. And now look, let me zoom in here. I can make it curve that way. Oops, you can't really see that, huh? See how it's not straight, but I can also adjust these. I can move them. Now, I'm not sure if you saw that movement, but it went from one, these lines, let's look at these lines right here. It went from one corner or intersection of the grid to another one or another one. So in order to make this smoother, I'm gonna change the snap grid to 0.1. So now I can go in various locations. I can change this. I can make this one less or more circular. I can move this one in and make it go over here to a little smoother. Perhaps this one a little out. Maybe I want this one to curve there or look, check this out. If I can go like that, it adjust it to make it more organic. Look at that. This one I really don't like, so I'm going to go over here and change that. Still don't like it. And then I'm going to move this over here. So anyways, you have way more control over what it looks like. And if you wanted to make a corner, like let's say I, I want this to be a corner, I can click this and now it, it's more like a corner than the other one. Or I can go over here. Okay, so you can play with these. But let's look at the final result. Let's compare the two finished sketches. 
let's make this two so we can be fair in comparing. Was it two or one? I think it was one now that I'm looking at it. Okay, let's look at it from above. Which one do you, looks more professional? This one looks like, like my doctor drew the antenna. Whereas this one is like, hey, that one looks pretty cool. Maybe you're into, you know, doctor's notes that you can barely read. Whereas this one looks like you designed it. So that's up to you. Um, I don't know if you're going to print this or not, but very good use of that tool. It's amazing. I recommend you practice with it and make a bunch of other things. But don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you some other time. Bye-bye.